Wait, I'm standing on the pitfall trap to disable it. It's always good. Like, sorry, can't fall right now. Disabling the trap that I'm standing on. RuneScape players have a bit of a reputation for not really wanting to leave the house too much, but I don't think it's necessarily merited. I know I leave the house some sometimes. I'm not going to for this one, but you know, sometimes I do. So let's say you're me. Okay, not like shorter me, but like you're leaving the house. Well, one of the things that irks me the most is my wallet. It's just mad, look at this thing. It's just bulky, it's large, it's probably hot and sweaty and gross, and I'm not interested. So why don't we ditch the wallet and check out the sponsor of this video, Exter, and their absolutely fantastic card holder. This has been my go-to for the last couple of weeks, and it's gonna be my go-to moving forward too. Because instead of that whole bulky wallet, I can just bring the couple cards I need, and with the click of a button, they're fanned out, ready to go. But let's say you're a bit of a traditionalist. You prefer the general wallet, a normal looking wallet. Well, could I interest you in the extra Parliament wallet? This thing is about half the size of my old wallet, and it's absolutely packed with tech. First thing that it does is it will fan out all my cards without even opening it up, but that's not the cool feature. The cool feature is there is a credit card sized solar powered tracker inside of this thing, which means that no matter where my wallet is, I can find it from my phone with the click of a button. Ready? Wait, dude, really? You gotta stop taking my wallet, man. Thanks to Exer for sponsoring this video. If you want to check them out, you can follow the link in the description down below. In addition, you can use code DRSGUY at checkout to get 20% off your entire order before August 23rd. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Welcome. Plan for today, I, I want to do Desert Treasure. I would also like to do 50 Fire Making and Tears of Guthix because I don't think that's that much skilling. It's like 800 Willow Logs. That's fine. We can we can handle that. Can't do Cabin Fever because I don't have the Smithing Wreck. I think I'm going to do that off stream. Smithing's kind of boring. I can't believe we did Regicide and Roving Elves yesterday. That's so nuts. 62 Hunter, we are going to be getting today as well, or I'd like to because we could do Crisis runs and they're pretty easy. And then here's the thing I want Gray Chins because if I get Gray Chins, what we can do with the Gray Chins is we can uh, get 60 range from ed3 and if we can get level 60 range that is all i need to be able to do mornings end part two which i think is absolutely sick that is level 43 fire making coming in i am fired up to be here that is level 44 coming in we take those 45 fire making which means we are gonna swap to maple logs that we got from a quest because you know i would rather power this long so we're going from 109 xp per to 141 yeah we're we're gonna be out here in no time 49 fire making coming in which means we now have all the levels needed for tears of gothics also a wreck for lunar diplomacy so kind of killing two birds with one stone there but we are going to pivot to dailies before we do the quest. Thank you, Jack of Trades, for making sure that I am never going to have to actually train agility. You know what else is exciting? Being level 20 in archaeology and 55 fishing and 57 mining. That is level 55 farming brought to you by the Nemi Forest. Whoa, that's level 50 prayer coming in. That's a huge level up. You now have all the levels you need for the temple at Seniston. Wait, what? Hold up, wiki temple at... Wait, really? Okay, we're missing some quests. We're missing some quests, but... Oh, that'd be so sick. I really want that too, actually. That's ridiculous. Imagine just two weeks off the boat. We've got curses. Okay, that is level 49 crafting, which means I can now make a bullseye lantern, which we now need to figure out how to make. That is the Tears of Guthix quest complete. We take those, and I guess while we're here, I should probably do the... Uh, do the Tears of Gothic mini minigame. Give myself, hopefully, a couple, uh, a couple arc levels. Wait, that was nine archaeology levels? Are you kidding me? Okay, I didn't know that was so sick. Holy sh**. Go, 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 quickly, help. Holy crap. Okay, everything's fine. That was a spook and a half, man. I guess the hope here is that we get a Barrow's die, right? No, we're still in tier two, which is just a fortunate. So we want 500,000 coins and a fortunate component. In a perfect world, what do you got for me, boss? That is a fortunate component. That is some money. Yeah, those are gonna, <laughs> those are gonna stay in the bank. Not trying to look like Squidward out here. <laughs> we 
Wait, I'm standing on the pitfall trap to disable it. It's always good. Like, sorry, can't fall right now. Disabling the trap that I'm standing on. That is the Temple of Ikov quest complete. Who range levels are level 44 and four fletching levels. We are now level 34. We take those. The next quest on our list, though, is the absolutely iconic desert treasure. I've got a thousand thieving XP to get, and then we are out of here. I'm so excited. I hope we don't die, though. If we die, I will be a little slightly unhappy, but we got this. Let's go. Okay, that is level 53 thieving, which means we now have all of the levels needed for desert treasure. So let's get it. 2005. Guess we got to see if this quest is aged well. I'm pretty sure it has, though. I'm pretty sure this is still a hype quest. Holy crap. We're not ready for this quest. Run, run, run faster. Done. Done again. Big G staff spec. Okay, we're clear. Okay, that was terrifying. Also, there is a part of this quest where at any point, if you have diamonds on you, a bandit can spawn and he will DDS spec you for 5,000 damage, which means our HP has to be above 5,000 at all times because if he spawns on us, we can literally die. So we are going to take the blood diamond and we are going to immediately bank it. Okay, that is the ice diamond done. Bank it before I get DDS specced and onto the smoke diamond. Wait, my fire making is too low. Oh, because of because my stats need to be restored. Okay, there we go. We're good. I was going to say, I better not have to go burn some logs. We're good. We're good. We're good. Ignore me. Alrighty, smoke diamond acquired. Let's bank it and on to the next one. I only have three lock picks. I'm gonna buy my two more to attempt the desert treasure quest with a total of five lock picks. And the bare minimum thieving level is absolute insanity. Here we go. All right, come on. One done, two done. That was so close. Wait, that was literally two out of three. Again, come on. One. Oh no. Come on. No. One. Oh my, no. One. We almost first tried that. Okay, now what? All right, 10 more lock picks. Come on, bro, you're throwing. One, two, three. Please, please, let's go, dude. Wait, I have the vert to just, no way I'm just walking right up this. Wait, really? Ah, uh, 2005 was a, was a simpler time. That is the desert treasure. Quest complete. Absolutely huge. We finally have access to ancients. 179 quest points. Yeah, we absolutely take those. Big quest. For about 10 seconds, a zombie warrior will spawn in this room. Any minute now, buddy. That's so cool. Look at him. Wait, that is a tall and manly player model. That's sick. Okay, they, 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 they didn't rebalance his life points for the EOC. That's unlucky. And that is the smoke and kills quest complete. Also taking our total up to 180 quest points. No level out of that. The next quest I want to do is one small favor. But what I want to do is I want to get all the required items and I want to time it because I have a suspicion that this quest is not as bad as people make it out to be. And I could be very wrong about that. I guess we're going to find out. All right, chat. I want you guys to know nothing out of the ordinary is going to happen when I kill these druids for a Herolander. Please go two for two. Let's go. Okay, opals are good. Opals are good. We have performed an opal skip. Now all we need is a red topaz skip and we're out of here. Come on, please. Let's go. The final challenge, the jade skip. The elusive challenging jade skip. Please, come on, give it to me. No. <laughs> I hate it here. It was looking so good. Oh my God. I'm so mad. Okay, one more. Come on. Good. Imagine throwing the jade skip right at the end. Okay, we're at the part where we're collecting everything. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're at 22 minutes. Okay, time. 37 minutes and four seconds to do the quest. I definitely lost like three minutes to mistakes, but uh, you couldn't have gone a whole lot faster than that, honestly, without bleed and dive, without double surge. That was not the worst thing experience of my life. We are now level 54 herbler coming in. 20 carib XP for 37 minutes work. That is not too bad. If you're wondering why I can hit in full magic gear, it's because it takes your farming level and then your combat stats are based on your farming level. And thank you to player on farm beehives. Our farming level is absolutely ridiculous. So uh yeah that wasn't uh one so bad. Alrighty, Mr. Fairy Godfather, I would humbly request 
some quest points. Fairy tale part one done. We do not have all the rest of fairy tale part two. I need three more herb levels. I need to be level 57. But as soon as we get that done, we should be in a very good place to use the fairy rings. So I know, look out for that in the next few days. Okay, so what we're doing Dead Nothing is for, it's mostly for a dragon hatchet because we've got some high wood cutting rex we want to get at some point. But also I just thought I'd do a couple of kills because I wanted to do crisis runs, but I would much rather do crisis runs once I've got a dragon hatchet so I don't have to waste another 50 or 100k retuning my boss portal. So we're gonna chill here for a bit, try our luck, and then, you know, whenever we get tired of this, we're gonna go to crisis. Let's go, dude! That's a dragon hatchet done! Let's freaking go! Our first PVM drop on the account! I can't use it yet, but that is absolutely huge! Okay, editing Ryan here. I did some digging into Krosis trash runs to try and figure out if they were worth doing and how good exactly they were. And after a tiny bit of math, what we're looking at here is 108,000 experience per hour from level 55. And every single time you get a level, the XP you get per catch increases. So basically, this is the way to train a hunter from probably mid 40s all the way to level 99. And I don't think at any point, any other method in the game is going to touch it with regard to XP. So what this means is if I can put up with doing some Krosis trash runs for even a couple hours, we should be at a high enough level that I'll be able to start doing Krosis formands, which is extremely exciting because as soon as you can get down to fours, you can start getting actual drops. And we're a hardcore. So of course, I'm going to want myself at least a couple pieces of Crypt Bloom. Gaming. Level 58 in the Hunter skill coming in. Level 60 in the Hunter skill. We can finally lay four traps at once. And we are going to be calling it there for the Hunter training for now, because although I do need 70 and 63 for hunting chins, I don't, I don't want to. So we're just going to stop that there and maybe we'll start off tomorrow by, you know, finishing it off.